As a boy, I shared a game with my father. Played it every morning till I was three. Uh, first, he'd knock, knock on my bedroom door. Then I'd pretend to be asleep until Papa got right next to my bed. Then I'd jump up and leap into his arms. Good morning, Papa. The great thing about Poetry Out Loud is that it sort of levels the playing field, right? And it says that there are, are no boundaries to what is accessible to whom, right? So Elizabeth Barrett Browning, William Shakespeare, uh, Maya Angelou, all of these great writers, everybody has access to them, you know? So often I felt in school like, uh, like things weren't being introduced to me because perhaps people thought I wouldn't be able to handle it or people thought I wasn't smart enough, you know? But organizations like Poetry Out Loud and the New Jersey State Arts Council, they say that you too, you too can do this, you know? That, that there are no boundaries. And I think that that's, that's sort of what we felt as a student, having someone hand you a William Shakespeare sonnet. You sort of sit up and say, well, you know, what else am I worthy of? Knock, knock, who's there? We are. <laughs> the arts play such a special role in New Jersey, from our urban areas to our suburban areas, from large organizations like the Newark Museum and the New Jersey Symphony Orchestra, to smaller organizations like the Roxy Ballet or Perkins Center for the Arts. The Grounds for Sculpture is one of the most amazing places in New Jersey. It's a contemporary art park that has over 40 acres. We cover every ground in visual, dance, music, theater. I have to give the New Jersey State Council of the Arts a lot of credit for reaching out into all the corners, and they wouldn't have been able to do that without the tremendous support that the National Endowment for the Arts has given to the Council and to individual organizations throughout the state. World-class programs like the Paper Mill Playhouse that are funded by the National Endowment for the Arts and New Jersey State Council for the Arts, they are very important to me because it gave me the training to be where I am today. And I'm just grateful that it was there for me. The first time I was introduced to the Paper Mill Playhouse, I remember that feeling of seeing them on stage and just thinking, that's incredible. Like, I want to do that. Everything is paintable. Everything is up for grabs. Painting is like magic, too. It's really, it's the illusion to stick off for me. You know? I'm painting here at the New Jersey State Museum, uh, where I paint every Tuesday. I've done a whole series of paintings of the museum. I'm doing this painting of a statue of Abraham Lincoln. I love painting figures, and Lincoln is not going to move. The government should support the arts. Art is an important part of a country's existence, you know? Artists, they're like ripples from a pebble thrown in the water. They, they have immense influences after a while, and it's foolish if you don't encourage the people in the country, you know, in your land to, to, to create art. The arts are important everywhere, not just in New Jersey, because they really help us understand the human condition. The arts make life worth living. The arts make life more understandable. The arts help us to translate the world around us and understand it better. And I really think it helps in all stages of life. From a New Jersey girl, thank you for all that you do. Happy 50th birthday, National Endowments for the 